Good morning, everybody. Jamie here, Enigmatic Nomadics. Vanessa, I think in my last video or one before that brought to my attention, like, what's going on? I, what are you doing in a house? And it, it, you know, I don't think about the fact that uh, everybody isn't following along and has lives of their own. <laughs> so quick uh, recap. If you're new to the channel or you haven't popped in in a while, uh, one thing about that, if subscribers uh, aren't getting notification, like a small portion of my subscribers don't get notifications. So I've got eh, 78,000 something. It doesn't go out to 78,000 uh, uh, push notifications the way uh, YouTube works. So if you guys will like the video, comment and share it, uh, then it does go out more. And so that's just how that works. But now that I got that out of the way, Jamie Diamond, Enigmatic Nomadics, lived in a uh, van and a school bus on the road for a total of 11 years. My mom fell ill and her home was in the final stages of foreclosure out here in Maryland. And she had an old Corvette in the, in the garage that when they foreclosed, they were just going to take and, uh, and auction off, I think. They certainly weren't coming back for it, so it had to go some way. And so I came back here, I'm on the property now. I've uh, worked out things with the mortgage company to uh, not have a payment due until August. And so I got here on fumes, all right? I'm not heavily funded. And I don't have a employment right now. You know, I was out there doing YouTube videos and the cost to wake up in the morning was very low. And so now I've got to come up with a mortgage payment in a very good neighborhood. The house has been here since 1948, but I'm in a, I'm like the worst house in the best neighborhood. You know what they tell you? Let me just show you across the street. Here we go. This, uh, what you're looking at here is all one property with a swimming pool back there. So this is where we're at. I and mean, we've got over here some limbs that never got addressed uh, a tree in the yard look at those logs from this right here that needs to be cut out if you look on the roof see the ivy growing on the roof it, some ivies can grow on the side of that uh siding and add character but you never want any ivy on your roof it's going to dig into the the uh, compost shingles and what are they called uh, fiberglass composite and just dig into it and try to get a strong hold on it which tears it up so i've got to get that out of there i sold some stuff on ebay to fund my uh, license and registration, which I still am getting all my stuff together. I'll tell you what, the state of Maryland won't even accept tax returns if you don't have a actual social security card. And so I went in and ordered one in person yesterday. And other than that, I've got insurance on it. So all of that, I guess, is to say that things are coming together, but there is a little bit of a plot twist. My mom calls me and she says, come get this Corvette. They're gonna, they're gonna take it in the foreclosure and you can just have it or put it towards the house for you know fixing it up or whatever. And so I go get it and on the title, so I've got the vehicle and on the title it says uh, my mom's name and her husband's name. The house here has my mom's name and her husband's name on the deed and he is just a cantankerous as you can get guy who's just upset at everything, upset at the world. Even my sister told him he's in, he had a stroke and he's in uh, assisted living in hospice right now. But my sister told him, Hey, Jamie came and he, and he's done all these things, cleaned up the house, still got more to go. And he said, Oh, he's going to ruin everything. <laughs> And I've fixed so many water leaks and drain leaks that have been in place for years. Anyway, he's going to have to sign off on the title. And he's going to have to sign off on adding me to the deed uh, once I start making payments. 
and he doesn't want to. And my mom doesn't want to live here anymore. Uh, she's down there with in assisted living, but with my sister and my sister's got a really nice house and she likes Georgia, we're from the South. But Dave does want to come back and he doesn't understand quite yet that uh, there were 10 cats living in this place for several months after they were uh, taken off to the hospital before they were collected and sent off to wherever they send cats in these situations. And so he's still getting his head around, hey, the house is, is basically condemned, man. And I've, I've uh, pulled it out of that and I'm offering him the main floor of the house to uh, live in till his final days. And I'll, uh, I'll support him with uh, hot and cold running water. I'll support him with a washer and dryer on his level. Everything that he would need to be comfortable short of a uh, assisted living helper. You know, I'm gonna be out there uh, working to make all this come together financially. And so he's gonna have to get a uh, nurse made on his own, but I think he's got a little bit of pension. Anyway, you get the lay of the land. Anything beyond this would just be me rambling. I'm gonna get started on this lawn today and start it on the ivy and just see how far I get. You see this backyard and all I've got is a push, a walk behind mower that's self-propelled. Let me just show you. See, we got a nice little gazebo there. It's a really a house with a lot of potential, but this grass, if you can't tell, has gone to seed. And so I've got my hands full. I'm gonna ride up the road here in a minute and see if I can find uh, just a corded uh, hedge clippers for maybe 10, 15 bucks at the, uh, I don't know, resale place, whatever you want to call it. And I think I saw a, a fertilizer spreader out front of that place. I'll ask them what they want for that when the time comes, but checking in, hope you guys are doing well. And can I pull this off? Can I get Dave to sign off on what's needed? Can uh, I get a job and be uh, well employed and have the mortgage when it's due in August. All of that is to follow. Oh, and I also went on a diet a couple of days ago and I'm gonna start wait, working out again. So lots ahead. Will I do it? Will I make excuses and say, well, if this hadn't happened, what's gonna happen? All right, see ya.